Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. This is Farhan Khan, your learning partner. So in today's session, we'll try to understand how we can export a SharePoint list as a CSV or an Excel file and send it to your mail. You might wonder that this is very simple and you can just go and use this option to export your CSV or your <coughs> Excel file. But what if you need to do the same thing using Power Apps? So in today's session, we'll try to understand, we'll learn how we can achieve it using Power Automate. First of all, we have to go to make.powerautomate.com. I'm assuming that you already have a list which has title, name, surname, courses and date of joining, date format. We'll go to create. will select as an instant cloud flow in that the trigger will select as power app will name it as Excel export and create so the first step what you need to do is you need to get all the uh, remaining all the records which are available in that particular list so how do you do it you do it using get items action get items we have to mention your site address as well as your this name site address you can copy it from here and paste it over there now if you go to the list name you'll find that list name you can go and cross verify the list name student list student list and go to next step now what you have to do is you need to convert this data into a format which is understandable by uh, Excel so in that scenario what we have to do is we have to convert this into a CSV file create CSV table under data operations we have create CSV table so now you see it is asking from where you would like to get this information so we already have get items and in that we have a dynamic value in it which is named as value you have to select value over here now make sure that you click on this show advanced option because by default what it does it takes the entire structure of your site it might take some columns which are hidden which are not available in the view which you are seeing over here so what you have to do is you have to specifically mention the column which you would like to export you see this is need to be changed to custom now header is the column value which you see over here title name surname courses so I'll name title second name surname and courses name surname courses and date of joining I'm choosing these five columns only now in the value section you have to provide the associated value which you can which you would like to migrate so in title you will select title in name you will select name surname should be surname courses should be now there is a catch in that since you are selecting the text value so that's the reason you are selecting only title name and surname but when it comes to choose an option which is coming as a choice you have to select course value if you select this courses you might not be able to see your details so make sure you select course value date of joining now in the next step what you have to do is you need to send these details as an email attachment for that you will select outlook 
send an email version to sign in after signing you need to provide an email address to whom you would like to send so in this scenario I'll select my name I'll select the subject as exported excel file in the body I can write hi please find an attachment for excel file thanks now if you see you don't see an option for attachment make sure you click on this link an option will appear now there are two entries or two values which you need to provide attachment and attachment content content is something which will be coming from this output create csv table output you see this create csv table output you have to select this one and when it comes to naming convention you have to select exported file and make sure that you give the extension which is csv csv is nothing but comma separated values save this so now you have power app trigger get item csv and send an email i will test it manually first and then we'll try to test the same thing using power apps test make sure you sign into your accounts sign in done the flow runs successfully let's go to our outlook and check if we have received it or not you see we have just received this 2.32 am we'll open it we can see we have the body which we wrote like please find attachment we have the same file let's open this and let's see if we have the data which we had in our SharePoint list expand this you will see your date you have your title name surname and courses as well so now let's try to do do the same thing using power app what you have to do is just go to your main.powerapps.com create a blank app export file app create this take a minute let's wait for it I'll insert a label export file app central line I'll change the font size needed we can also change the color of it okay now if you see we have a button control and if you want you can write export excel data or sharepoint data as x what you have to do is first make sure you have your flow saved and make sure that you remember the name of your flow excel export now what you have to do is go to power automate theme click over here since you have already created it what you have to do is you have to add that flow to your power app first so how do you do it click on this add flow and excel export you will see it over here since you have already created it in case if you don't find your recently created flow in your power app make sure you close your power app save it and reopen it again you will find it for sure I'll select Excel export we have
have it over here now I'll write Excel export dot run close. and after that I would like to send a notification data has been sent over the email now let's run this and test if it is working or not click on this button data has been sent over the email we have received an email as well if you see 236 236 the date and time and we have received the same file again i hope you like the video please do like and subscribe and do share with your friends as well and have a nice day ahead thank you so much everyone thank you so much